district judge said the case against Neil Fox was strong and that the witnesses told the truth as they remembered it. But the most difficult aspect of the case was that a lot of the allegations were historic, therefore should be treated with caution. He also said the bench could not be sure that in context it was a criminal offence. Uh, so the case has gone on for a long time um, and he was cleared yesterday. The word context, I have to say, jumped out to me about this case. I do want to say straight away that I think anybody that comes forward yeah. to say that they have been sexually assaulted or sexually abused, it's a very, very difficult thing mm. for anyone to do, man or woman, and I applaud them for it. I absolutely said, as the judge said there, they believe it as they remember it, they're telling their truth. Mm. Um, but the word context to me said a lot because I think it's very, very difficult to prosecute mm. historical sexual abuse cases as we've seen mm. um, over the last kind of year and a half, really, with so many of the cases that have ended up you know, either being dropped or they haven't come to fruition. Um, because it's, there's such a long gap. Mm. And, the, and because of that long gap, sometimes I think there's a slight generational thing going on here. And it's interesting that, mm. Jamila, you're in today. Mm. Because I look back on when I was younger and started work as a young woman. I worked in a very male-dominated workplace. Yeah. And there was a lot of what I would call banter. Mm. And some of it was quite sexual innuendo. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, we're talking, we're going back to you know, the days of Carry On films yeah, and yeah. kind of Benny Hill. Mm. That mm. kind of, of, of um, culture and behaviour yeah. and atmosphere. And it was something that I really didn't think twice about. It went on quite a lot. Mm. Um, I worked with a lot of, of guys. It was, in my eyes, quite innocent. Nobody really touched me. It was all no. just... Yeah. Um, it would be slightly sexual comments about mm. how you looked about your bottom or yeah. your boobs or... Uh -huh. and, and I just used to bat it away. Yeah. That's yeah. what we did then. Uh -huh. Now, I'm again not saying... There could be somebody watching this saying, well, I worked in that same place. Meanwhile, in another room, yeah, yeah. something could have been happening to yeah. another woman. So, again, I'm not saying, oh, it was fine, yeah. you know, nothing was happening. Personally, to me, mm. it was banter and we, we dealt with it. And mm. I think it's interesting, whenever yeah. I've said that to you, and we've yeah. talked about <laughs> this in the past, you mm. are horrified mm. when I say, you know, someone might pat your bottom yeah. or yeah. comment about... Your boobs you, or whatever. Yeah. And, and for, for me, I just kind of feel like my reaction is a clear indication of how things have changed. Yeah. You know, culture is very different now. You know, if a man patted me on my bottom while I'm walking past his desk, you know, he's going to get in trouble. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm making sure of it, either by me or someone else. But you would um, feel that you could go and tell somebody. Absolutely, and yeah. I, think, I think what is very different now is that, the, is that culture is different, the environment is different. I mean, even watching TV shows, you mentioned Carry On. Um, I remember a show called Rising Damp. Um, well, my mum showed me these uh, shows, and I remember watching them and saying, this was on TV. People were, you know, and it's just, to me, just shows that things have changed and things have moved on and a lot of positive progression has been made and, and I, do, I do i do think it is important to remember that that progression has been made however there must be people who now in 2015 are looking back saying well that was wrong that wasn't acceptable yeah. do you know what i mean but at the same time there were a lot of things that weren't right culturally at the time, you know, back in and the eighties or the seventies. And rectified and, and now exactly, and changed, and they're not exactly. Lindsay, the very fact that we that we talk about it so openly now, I and mean, it has brought it to the into the public domain. We talk about it, however uncomfortable it can mm. be. Sometimes, you know, we can offend people with our opinions, mm. which is never intentional. But, but you know, yeah. I'm sure there'll be people watching this saying, "Well, you can't say it wasn't wrong just because it happened yeah. then." I'm saying, no, I'm not saying it's definitely wrong now. Yes. I'm yes. just saying back then. Yes. Oh, there used to be page to three posters up everywhere. Yes. You know, yeah. like we sort yes. of didn't bat an eyelid at that because yeah. that's what men mm. did. They put their posters up in the workplace or whatever nowadays. What? I mean, yes. Yeah. There'd be <laughs> topless, topless you take your car into a garage, there'd be, you know, yeah. Samantha Fox or someone on the wall. Oh, it's just, it's children. all completely changed now. And also, I think nowadays there are places, there are people that you can go to to talk to about it. In those yeah. days, you just sort of, I mean, no one ever touched my bottom or, you know, mentioned my boobs or anything. Uh, or, mm. Do you know what I mean? It was just like, well, if they did, they would have got a mouthful. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But, <laughs> but <it's, laughs> 
interesting. <laughs> you dealt with it because you said I would have given them a mouthful. Yeah. And I actually think sometimes that in those days, if you had have gone up to HR or personnel, as it was yeah. called there, and said, oh, the guys were kind of making comments about me, they probably would have laughed you out yeah, of the would. room. Yeah. I mean, you know, people just didn't report it. Yeah. Not, again, not saying it's right. I'm, I'm, but it has, it's yeah. great that it's changed. Yes. I mean, you must say with your boys when you talk to them in the, in the world they're in and showbiz and well, music. Well, I was going to say, yeah, and I grew up in the, in the entertainment industry and now my boys are in it. And I say to them now, because it has changed so oh, yeah. dramatically. I mean, I was at a gig um, last year, actually, and it was Shane and his band and, and Jake had gone to see him with his band and all of that. And there was a table of girls and they called me up and I was chatting away to them. And they were telling me, oh, I love your sons and I'd love to do this. And I'd look, literally mm. telling me what they'd like to do. <laughs> now, at the last minute, and I yeah. said, oh, really? I said, and how old are you all? And they were 13 or oh 14. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And looked, now, you looked about 19. Had I not have gone over and found that information, they looked at least 17, all of them. Uh -huh. Now, I actually went up to the boys and said, do not go near that table yeah. because they're 13 the babies, and 14. Yeah. If I had not been there and those girls had come on, my boys were both single at the exactly. time. What I'm saying is then 10, 20 years down yeah. the line, they could be mm. done for yeah. it. And, yeah, it, and yeah. so it has, it has changed, but it's still going on, if you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. So I think boys and men especially just, just yeah. take it that it's changed and it is not acceptable yeah. in yeah. any form.